Morning. A bit more overcast today. It's a bit cooler, a bit breezy. Good job I got my spraying done. It is windy. So Emma will be here in a minute. Andy's not already here. Um, my dad's taking some cattle, so it's gonna be a busy, busy morning. The first thing first was I've just swept all that in. Emma will sort that bit out later. We've got some more barley coming. But um, I've just been running over barley all uh, all morning, if not. So I'm gonna get on the TM320S. Absolute weapon. Put my pipes on first, though. We're off and on it. Andy's here, morning, Andy. Hey, what do we know? Yeah, yeah good. Yeah, yeah. Where's Em? Who knows? 8.02, Andy, and she's not here. Reprimandation. I thought you were getting a jive, aka Twix, a coffee cat. Oh, get that Coffee time. Look who's rocked up. Oh, she's yeah. here, look. She's here. No jive for you, Em. No jive. Morning, Em. You just got up. Oh yeah. Me and Andy were saying like, no, 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 no jive for you this morning now. Joe was late. Oh yeah, I was late actually. So maybe no. Uh, it's eight o three now. Because <laughs> often it is like five o three when we finish, isn't it? Or 6.03 or 7.03 <laughs> Andy's already been in here Strawed these guys up making them look lovely I'm just feeding it out now I'm wondering what we're doing today and um, I think we'll probably end up mucking out But what do you reckon Em? Today is going to be a good day <laughs> It is going to be a good day. I can feel it. Can you? Um, sort of. It's a bit of a class though, isn't it? So it does move down a little bit. But um, we've got all my spraying done. Got all my fertilizer spraying done. Nice. Just a bit of mucking out. Mucking out is good. It's fun. I went to pick up last night because I've got mine and the wife's bike in the back. But I think we've got four flat tyres. I need to sort them out before we go to Centre Parks in, uh, I think it's a few weeks. I remember me saying I was brushing up earlier and the nine metre JCB was there. And let's just have a look at this, this brush. Emily! Jeez, she must have been close. M is basic. No spatial awareness. Uh, and that's... I was said, I was just saying it's the worst brush, but then you two have said it's the best one. Well, it's definitely the worst one now. Because <laughs> it's in half. So, definitely no tweaks for him this coffee time. I don't know. Well, we got Will and Andy back. Fetching us some more barley. Will sporting the Joe Seals hat, so it looks like he's part of the team now. Business. Right, me and Emma just getting the last bit of feeding done. We'll see. Uh, Andy seems to have done a good job in here, bedding, uh, bedding these guys up. Put a fair bit outside. Hopefully, they're going to be outside. Come on, guys. This is the thing with the Angus. They're so tame and relaxed. They don't like to get out way half the time. Like this, this guy here. You got pretty eyes. Oh yeah, you got pretty eyes. It's coffee time. Em's been fixing my bikes. Hopefully. It's fixed Em. Yeah. They stopped up. Uh, I can't touch it. No, okay. Maybe get some oil as well in a minute. Sweet. Andy's busy sweeping. Come on, Andy. It's coffee time. It's coffee time. Right, em, can you work it out today? The middle one inside. Which one's that then? Put your finger on it so everyone knows. This one. Correct. You get in there, are you? Hey. Legend material. <laughs> so yesterday you put an oil through a water pipe. Yeah. They're not giving much of this farm left, is they, Andy? <laughs> it was my initiative. I wanted to water. All right. Well done. <laughs> oh, it gets better. So 
Out goes another one. Back doors open, in comes another. That's it. And then Em will get the number. Andy and Em, uh, well, Andy's back. And um, Em and my dad are going to be getting some cattle out while I just fill this load of muck back up for Andy. It's a job now. Just been on a Tic Tac Live with Mr. B, Yorkshire Farmer, which is nice. Actually worked on my phone. Business. Let's get him in. We nearly got you on then, Will. Yeah. Yeah, oh, hi. What does your dad think to his new name then, Massey Andy? <laughs> that lady's calling and he says, he's called me Massey Andy, hasn't he? <laughs> Em just dropped the mixer wagon off and she's now going to go and collect the trailer of muck so that we can get it pulled out away and Andy can get his trailer back to back in. He's just got back with another trailer. We are now on maximum efficiency. Two trailers running. Good business. I like maximum efficiency. This muck's going down in this shed. We're getting there. Oh, that's that load filled. Andy will take it back. I've just got a, a cow to clip, so I'll leave that there for him. Actually, I'll pull it up the yard so then he can get back to back in. But as I was saying, yeah, this um, this pen is nearly done. Another two two loads. Oh, I'm back to a few cattle today, and um, I thought I'd just show you these. So these are the cheap Chinese um, clippers that we buy off Amazon. Um, I mean, you can buy the really expensive ones like um, the is it like Lister and Heinegger ones that are like three and four hundred quid for a set. These are like I don't know sixty or seventy. I can't remember something like that. Um, and they're just disposable, so they work as long as the other ones. But you can chuck them away. You could get like four or five of these for the price of one of the others. So um, yeah, I really rate them. Um, like I said, they work just as long as the other ones break down just as often, um, but a load, load cheaper. So, um, I don't know, I'll probably put a link. I've put a link, I think, in some of my videos to these because I think they're, they're good for what, what money. So, anyway, crack on with this. I can't believe we're still clip, clipping cattle at this time. Like, this is the first one we've had to clip for like weeks and weeks and weeks, but it's fairly much. Andy, have you been taking stickers don't off? Get that uh, side on, Joe. On stickers have gone. Come round right over <laughs> <laughs> is it <laughs> so people that know the dealership founders will know that that uh so yeah, andy's got his hat now, now. So, you know <laughs> taking a big trailer what's this what's happening with some seed on it because they're going to drill some spring barley um but he's also fetched us another muck trailer because we work quite closely together us and the cowgills share each other's equipment sometimes so um that's handy of him so that means we can get three tractors and trailers running today maximum maximum efficiency today proper now business. back on mucking out one-handed sorry my fingers getting in the way there Getting this trailer filled, and I thought any second now, Andy will be back with another load. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And we're going to return to dig. I'm digging out this stuff. You can tell. With the muck, the thickness of the muck's been a lot shallower at the back than it has been in this middle bit. So the straws, obviously, with the straw blower, is not getting quite enough to the back. Oh, not an even amount, anyway. Andy and Emma just being the Chuckle Brothers now. To me, to you, to me. efficiently uh, the TM's just run out of fuel or running out of fuel it's very much in the red 
So I've jumped on this one, left them filling it up. So we got tractors waiting. It should have been filled up that TM yesterday. But it didn't get done. That's a bit off that I think because it's nowhere near as good as this for mucking out and getting out on tight spots. This is the weapon of choice. Oh, Em's come for a ride with me out in the British countryside. It's quite nice around here, isn't it? Some nice rolling, like we don't get rolling hills around us, do we? But like, for some reason, there's rolling hills here, just like a patch of rolling hills. And you can't see them from anywhere. Yeah, you can't see them from anywhere. Just like, they just appear, don't they? Yeah. It's like, oh, well, how did this happen? Um, so yeah, it's quite nice down here. Um, we're gonna head back to the farm, get some more muck. Bros nose. Do you know what this is up on the right hand side? Oh, I don't know what they are. They're horses to me. But I'm in that box thing. Do you know what it was originally? For shepherds, wasn't it? Shepherds up and things. Does anybody else know what that was originally? Let us know in the comments, I'll let you know tomorrow. People who guessed yesterday about the spray light, what uh, is giving it away. Hello. I won't. Yeah, about the blue things that were on the bottom of my sprayer boom. So they are blue lights um, that light up the spray at night time. Because if you if you use a white light on the spray em, yeah, then um, you can't see your spray. But if you light it up with blue light, you can see the droplets coming out. Because it's very important to be able to see that every single nozzle is working. Yeah, well you're missing that like line. Yeah, or else you'll have like stripes down your field that have not been treated or where the weeds will grow and stuff like that. So that's the uh, that's why we've got that for nighttime spraying. So M's been busy cleaning one at trailers and now we're getting some barley shifted. Hey M, look at this. It's a brush. It's not not snapped in half. Fantastic. Me and Em have just come back on this um, tractor and trailer. But check this out. I've just been on Weybridge. Look at that. That is some major. Um, so yeah, I'll have to pull it out and um, sort that job out. But it's not going down. It's stopping up. But. I'll get it down to the shed, we'll get it pulled out with some pliers and I'll get a string put in, fix it. wind folks, but let's see what this is like. Huh. You know what, I think we're in luck. I'm going to get some water on it, see if there's any bubbles, but I think we might have just got away with it. Just, I can't hear anything. So I've just done the spit test, I'm not sure yet, but um, there's no leaks. Fantastic. For a piece of that, that's that long, that's, we got away pretty easy there, didn't we? Yep, super lucky there. Right, what I'll do is I'll get this dropped off now. So we're getting towards having a shed full of barley again. Which is always uh, nice, just it's expensive. You tied one side then. Um. Oh, You're eight ill Billy, aren't you? Eh? Proper hillbilly farmer. You kept me happy, okay? <laughs> Why didn't you run it all the way around as a belt? Have you seen her? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, get me from cheap. You got what? It's less windy here. Um, really? Yeah. But she doesn't know the person. She does now. Don't announce it. No, no, this is <laughs> secret information. Secret information. Well, anyway, seen as um, seen as M was like two or three minutes late, what we've decided to do instead of um, instead of reprimanding her because she did actually get 
twixt, didn't she, Andy, at dinner? Yeah. So she she's worked she's worked an extra like forty five minutes and um, we'll just call it quits, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right anyway guys thank you so much for watching um make sure if you like it press the like button and subscribe and guess what we're all here tomorrow aren't we i am yeah business see you later guys bike. on your bike i've been told me to be a one minute early tomorrow yeah but if you if yeah be one minute early or two uh, minutes yeah, I'll be shut before your bike cover i'll be here early don't worry what? i think i might be i don't know i won't let you do it Hey. Right, anyway, I'm rambling. Bye bye. See ya. You're off shopping tonight. What are you going to do? Are you going to buy a belt for your trousers? <laughs> you could do. <laughs> Did you? Well, my own one. I couldn't have to work, but it's nice. It's got light and pink on it, so maybe not. You might. Yeah, belts, Em. You could do some Josie old polo belts. You do like big fat buckles like cowboys. Is that what you want, Andy? Yeah. I can just yeah. see Andy as with a big fat buckle. Right. Yeah. You know your premium logo? Yeah. Right, we should have that there on a nice polo belt. You reckon? Like a big like steel like Joe Seals tractor logo thing right, that's. Your premium logo. Oh, the other logo. Yeah. Ah, that nobody's seen yet. Apart from the select few here. Yeah, yeah, that's, um, yeah, ah, there. yeah, because it's, yeah, and a nice cool polo belt. all right, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> just like saturate everything with your seals, like different, when she's not, the cold, different coloured ones, aren't they, yeah. I've never had one, Andy, yeah, I think. No, no, it's like they are leather, I think, but they have different colours. Uh, oh, maybe not. It's like a dog collar. Them ones. Them ones. They're nice, aren't they? Beautiful. <laughs> I have never had one. I think my brother might. He, he's a nice be into that sort of thing. Oh, Ash would have one. If anybody would have one, it would be Ash. You get a nice colour like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice Joe Seals in the middle. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to buy one though. And then, business. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, two minutes of. Uh, With some black jeans and a Joe Seals polo. M's Joe Seals hat. You're, you're, you're energised by this, aren't you? Yeah. Absolutely energised by it. <laughs> right, I'm going home. Bye. Uh, Big mix just rung me. Sorry about the wind if it's like that. He's coming past in his lorry and he desperately wants me to video it. So get ready for some tones. Yeah, we're going to see him. Hopefully we'll see him through the hedge. He's in a big yellow lorry. As yellow as possible. As yellow as yellow is. And he says, oh, what is he here? You see that yellow lorry? He's pipping now. And he'll pop out here in a second. Yeah,